Hello and uh, welcome. So I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure what the, how, the, how the picture is on this. So I do apologise if the picture looks a bit strange. Um, I must remember also to talk to the camera. Here we go. So yeah, don't know how the picture quality is going to come out. I'm, I am actually on my decking. We're on the, we're on, we're on the decking area. With all my cushions underneath the gazebo because it rained the other day. But hey -oh. So that's actually on the bar for a change. And I'm actually using the Chromebook. And uh, why is it showing up with one people watching when it's unlisted? That's weird. Um, so I've been to Magpie Brewery today. Magpie Brewery is based in the city of Nottingham next to Nottingham County Football Club. I'm a Nottingham Forest fan. But hey, I'm a fan of Nottingham. I'm a fan of my local region, as you want, as you as you should be. So I went down there today, and I've got to be honest. I walked in, never been there before. So the sat nav took us. I ended up nearly going into the uh, the cattle market, which is across the road where Totally Bruder do their brewing. So we went into there, and uh, lovely lady in the shop, um, and the attention to detail, the knowledge that she had. Great to see diversity in the world of brewing. You know, it's a, it's a place for men and women to do it, and that is brilliant. Anyway, we'll get on with the beers, and then I'll chat a bit more about the both the tap room that's there and the shop. So, yeah, from Magpie Brewery. I may have reviewed one or two of these before, but I can't remember. I don't think I have, to be fair. This is 10 for a time of joyous and bliss. It's a marshmallow brown ale. The Counting Crows range, 4.4%. I don't, I've not had this one before. Brewed with all British malts, hops and malts supporting British farms on a 100% green energy brewery kit. It's a marshmallow flavoured brown ale. That's one. Big beer hall day today, as you can expect. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Um, from Flipside Brewery. These used to be based at Colic. They're now brewed, contract brewed at uh, Magpie Brewery. And I must remember that the camera's actually there, not there. I usually usually talk to the camera there, but the camera's there, so I will talk to the camera in the right place. This is a sterling pale, 3.9%. Uh, classic English pale, light and easy drinking session ale with spicy hot notes. That's the second. Next. Is Magpie's Hopley After, Ever After. It's a Green Opt Session Edition Payets Season Special Edition Session Pale, three point eight percent. So they've got the normal um, Hopley Ever After and the Green Opt version. For those of you who don't know, but yeah, these are all readily available in the shop as well. And this is the Ooh Snenton Cider Company. Awesome. I didn't even realise. I thought it was just a random beer. I couldn't read it from over the counter. This is second coming. 5.9%. My first ever Snenton Cider Company cider. And it's uh, it's back with our second our 2020 bottled cider. Picked, pressed, and fermented and bottled in the heart of Nottingham City. Second coming is a small batch, medium cider made from 100 percent fresh apple juice. Uh, on Facebook, Snenton Cider Company. Gold winners of Nottingham Draft Cider Competition 2018. Amazing. So amazing that so many of these breweries and cider companies exist on your doorstep. It's time to get out there, folks, and uh, go visit him. So from Blue Barrel Cider, based, and I'm not joking, their base is 70 yards that way on Colin Green. I live on the Markham Crescent in Nottingham. They live there, but they're on Colin Green. I'm not going to tell you numbers, obviously. But yeah, not far away from me, at least. So this is 6.5% and what resonates with me, and I'm sure with them as well. This is Sherwood blend. We both live in Sherwood, both them and me. Medium still cider. So it says here, we use local forgotten fruit, handpicked by our friends and volunteers at the Summerwood Community Garden in Nottingham, which is in Clifton. By drinking this cider, you're directly supporting orchard regeneration, wildlife and food going projects. Cheers. And this is right. Levin, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Colin Green, not in him. Um, do you know, we can all, with our gardens, grow fruit. We don't have to use the fruit. Put a, put a tree in your garden. 
like over there, I've got an apple tree in my garden, pear tree garden, bloody apples. Um, and that's another story. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you think you've gone, when you think it's an apple tree and it turns out to be pears, and your garden, hey, it's all a good laugh. Hey, these things happen. But yeah, by doing that, it's awesome. Now, I also got five bottles of draft. These are bottles I got from Magpie at Christmas. This is this is a special thing about Magpie Brewery. Uh, I'll tell you about the tape in a minute. So at Magpie Brewery, they sell these flip-top bottles. And you get 10% off with one of these things when you buy them. Which is a great way for you. To, it's a great way of getting you to go back to that brewery, getting yourself some nice fresh bottles. So... You take your bottle in. This is a 750ml bottle. You can either have it full. You can have what you want in. It helps if you buy a 500 or 250ml or a or the full bottle. You know, just for, for, the, for the calculations. They What they then do, they then um, swill the bottle out, sterilise it. Although I'd, I'd already washed it, to be fair. But they swill it out, sterilise it, and then they put a sticker on. Best before, four weeks after fill. Once open, used within two days. So this lasts for a few days, actually. So that's even better. To have it sterilised and for it to last four weeks, which means I haven't got to start necking it straight away today, which is a good thing because I've got five more from another brewery that I've got to try and neck today. So yeah, yeah, it's been one of them days. It's my birthday, you know. Um, it's getting out of there. My ethos is to support local. It always has been, really. But especially we're getting a bit of cash every week, going out, going to locals, meeting up with local breweries, supporting local breweries. I will get around to every single one of them. Once I once I learn, once it, one, if they actually do stuff on draft. If not, I'll have to go to micro pubs. But I'm sure I'm going to get around a lot of them and the micro pubs as well. And, uh, you know, as the channel grows, supporting local breweries and people who come to Nottingham, they can look on uh, Raggy's Bear Reviews and say, hey, he knows a lot about Nottingham, and you know this is something we can all do around the country. All do all people doing bear reviews. Support your local area. Get out there. Let, let them know what's in your local area. Support your bar. Support your bars. So this is a Magpie Brewery. It's a slow berry wheat. Five percent, two hundred and fifty mils in there. So that's great. And the red label is so when they come out of the shop, it's it, it's classed as licensing, it's classed as a sealed thing, although it is sealed. But they put that on just in case someone pulls you over. Well, they tried pulling me over. <laughs> so this is another Magpie Brewery. Again, similar story to the last one. This is their chocolate orange raven. So it's a great way. What these tap rooms are, it's a great way for you to go to these tap rooms. And Get a bit of, um, go to the tap rooms and uh, get some draft beer on tap. Seasonal draft beer that you don't get in bottles. There's the important thing. So from the Baker's Bread Pod Project, they've got a new one out called Baker's Pale. This is also brewed at Magpie Brewery as well. 4.1% ABV, 250 mils. I'm great that it lasts for four weeks. Ain't going to last for four weeks because... Uh, it never does. So, another one from Magpie Brewery. Pow, pow. Uh, I need to read up about these and see if hopefully there's some information on the internet. I bet there is on untapped. 4.6% um, ABV. And again, 250 mil bottles. I love this. I love this label. If you're going for draft, to have the label there telling you what it is, how long you've got to drink it. I would never go the full length for four weeks, me personally. So next on the list, and finally, this is We Wild, and it's a sour. I'm presuming these are all Magpie Brewery beers. I will check. Um, doesn't say the ABV on this one, funnily enough, so I'll have to check on that one. But yeah. So while I was down there getting my cracking beer hall, as you do, I also picked up two new glasses because I love my merch. So an half pint glass, Magpie Brewery. Pleased about that. I'm pleased about all of it. Don't get me wrong. Oof. So I need to do some Instagramming in a minute, as you do. Put that there. Take them down the shed and start moving the beer wall around a bit more because, oh my gosh.
and uh, I've cheated myself these last two weeks because of um, both Father's Day, birthday, and general money that I've got spare. When I get some spare, and then yeah, another Magpie Brewery glass. Look at that for a glass, cracking glass. And that is it. That is the Magpie Brewery beer hall. So let me show you. This is a good thing about using the camera. I can actually spin it around. Hey! So there we are, Magpie Brewery. Although I've got to get used to talking to that. Uh, be nice if any comments about the beer is great. Um, thank you, Magpie Brewery. Um, walked in there this morning. They can't wait to open their tap room soon. So that would be great. Um, and obviously they must get some business when the football's on because being around the side of the football stadium, you'd think so, wouldn't you, really? Um, but yeah, fantastic. Cracking beer hall, uh, cracking place, my pie brewery's um, little brewery shop and tap room. And um, well, pleased, well pleased, well pleased. Um, great to get new ciders as well. Draft beer, bottles, glasses, can't fault it. Right, got to end this one because I've got more coming. I've got multiple on multiple beer reviews today. It's going to be like Saturday all over again. <laughs> and then I've got a beer review later. Cheers all. Right, end stream. It's getting used to different things as well.